Welcome to Electron Online. With this example, again, there's some nuances, some differences here that we need to recognize. At first, you may look at that and realize, I'm not so sure this is an equation of a circle. But if you do see an x square and a y square in there, it may be a circle, especially since both the coefficient in front of the x square and the y square term are the same. If those coefficients are the same, in this case they're 1, it's likely a circle. Notice we don't have a y term. We do have an x term, but not a y term. So, in other words, we simply have a y square on the left side, but we do have an x square minus 4x, so we probably need to complete the square for the x, but not for the y. And this constant right here, we probably want to move it to the right side. So the first thing we're going to do is do this. x squared minus 4x, leave some space, plus y squared is equal to a positive 12. So we don't need to do anything here. We already have it in this format with k equal to 0. So there we don't have to worry. But we do want to have a perfect square over here. So we need to add something there. And again, let's do it in a different color. And let's do it on the side here. We have x squared minus 4x. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and divide it by 2. And then square that and place it over here. All right. When we do that, this is equal to negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2 squared. It goes up there. So that ends up being a 4. So this becomes a 4. So that means we need to add a 4 here. And if we add a 4 there, we're going to need to add a 4 on the right side. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and write this as a binomial squared. So this can now be written as the quantity x minus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to 16, or x minus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to 4 squared. And now it's in the exact format of the general formula. In this case, of course, k will be 0 and h is equal to 2. So the next thing we do is find the center. So the center is at x equals 2 or yeah in this case h equals 2 and k equals 0. h equals 2 is right here, k is 0. So this is the center and the center is located at 2 comma 0. h equal 2, k equals 0. Then the next thing we do is realize that the rate is equal to 4. So we find a point 4 units to the right, 4 units to the left, 4 units up and 4 units down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. And then if we connect all those four points, we have ourselves a circle. There we go. Where the center, oh, there we go. We'll put the dot there so it's on the circle. So with the center at 2, 0, and with a radius equal to 4. But first, of course, before we can graph it, we need to put it into or place it into the format where it is equal to the general formula. So a little bit of uh, what you need to do here is realize first, let's get rid of any constants that we don't want on the right side. Then we realize we have a y square already. We don't have a y to the first power term, so that's simply y squared. And here we do have an x to the first power, so we need to have a perfect square. We need to add a 4 to the left, which means we need to add a 4 to the right and then we can transform it to the right format. And that is how it's done. <laughs> well, at least you didn't fall asleep on me this time. <laughs> All right, now we have another interesting example coming up.